District 34 residents are on the cusp of making an important decision. With early voting beginning soon, three state representative candidates are finishing out their campaign strong. KPLC's Morgan Babineau spoke with each of them for more. Kevin Guidry, Franklin Lewis, and Wilfred Carter are all competing for the state representative seat in District 34. 7 News talked to each of them about why they're after this position. The reason why I'm running for office is that I feel that District 34 has been neglected to some extent. And I want to see things done a little bit different in our district because we deserve better. Guidry is a longtime resident of Lake Charles and has also been in politics for over 18 years. So I see the differences between South Lake Charles and North Lake Charles and it's time for us to get North Lake Charles and bring it up to catch up with where South Lake Charles is now. Lewis is new to the political game but says what he lacks there he makes up for in other areas. He worked as a police officer in Lake Charles for 35 years. I just want to be fair. I don't want no, I want everybody to be represented in this beautiful state of ours to have input, everybody equally. Carter has held the title of state representative since 2020 and has worked in Louisiana legislature since 1984. He tells us during his term, he was responsible for over 250 bills. The next question presented to candidates was what is your biggest priority if you win the election? People sometimes don't want to be in apartments. They want to be in houses they can call their own. And that's one of the things that I want to focus on when I go to Baton Rouge, find means, find money, and find ways to get people back home again. I plan on doing everything that I can to bring businesses back to our area, bring restaurants, drug stores, grocery stores, small businesses. I want to work on all these things for you, our people. And my big thing has been increasing minimum wage. I have a bill that's about every year, but it can't get out of committee. So, so minimum wage should not be seven twenty-five or seven fifty an hour. It ought to be a minimum of fifteen or fifty. It may not get there in one year, but in two or three years, we ought to be to a fifteen-dollar minimum wage. These issues were not the only ones that candidates wish to address. I want to have a multi-agency center right here in North Lake Charles, to where they can go to that that will house FEMA, that will house goods that we need, whether it be clothes, food, all sorts of different things. We don't have that here. So I feel that right now, our state highways here in Lake Charles are in, in dire need of repairs. We need to come out and uh, fix up these roadways to make Lake Charles more attractive for when visitors are coming into our city. To find out how you got there, why you got to jail. Did you have some problem in your childhood? Did somebody abuse you? Do you have a drug problem? Uh, do you have a, a, a problem with not having training, education, get a decent job? Let's find out what your problem is, then we're gonna work, spend the time you're here trying to solve that problem. In Lake Charles, Morgan Babineau, 7 News. To hear more from each candidate, you can head to our website at kplctv.com. Early voting will begin on September 30th and ends on October 7th.